It's a community and we're going to get through this together as a community. We understand there's a hybrid environment now. We're uh, poised to collaborate within that environment and provide value wherever possible. University library systems, you know, we're not looking in the past, we're looking forward. We're not going to be dinosaurs in the way we approach this. You know, we got a wonderful group of people here who are eager to, um, to uh, work with faculty and students and make their experience as good as possible in, in very difficult situation. It's really important, I feel, that we're in touch with one another and we recognize one another's sacrifice, but also everything we're trying to develop. Um, my typical work day, um, when I'm at home, it involves a lot of coffee um, and negotiating with my wife and children about exactly who gets what space in the house. Weirdly enough, I'm seeing a lot more of my coworkers. We do a daily morning check-in where we like all kind of have our coffee together, which is really nice. Once a week, somebody picks a couple of articles and we do like a discussion. It's almost, it's like school, <laughs> um, but it's fun. And it kind of allows us to kind of think about how other universities are handling collection problems or circulation issues. For the pandemic, um, I worked here in O'Neill Library a lot of my time at this desk right here, the reference desk. And I really miss sitting right here and really miss uh, actually having face-to-face -face contact with uh, students and other patrons. When, when you have to work remotely, um, communication can be challenging, particularly because there are interactions that when you can conduct them face-to-face, uh, -face, they may take a minute. But when, when you have to do it um, online, <laughs> um, it can take forever. So communication is a big, big part of it. You can't do this without teamwork. And... It's been a very interesting and intricate <laughs> lesson to learn how, you know, it, just trying to keep things moving um, and doing a good job. Uh, well, uh, you can't uh, look for books, print books. Well, you can print them, but you can't go get them. Um, you can't do that mountain behind you is returns. Myself and a lot of staff have been helping into library loan, scanning materials, um, processing shipping um, to get books either to people's homes or to return them to libraries that need them. <laughs> busy, busy, busy from the, day, from the time I get in until the time I leave. So it, it, it is constant. Just say longer articles to scan, probably more articles to scan. So a lot of requests coming in from faculty members. Um, there's a lot more online, online meetings, getting used to that. And uh, the, I think the biggest challenge is that there's nobody really at BAPS and we're used to having tours go through. And uh, I think the biggest challenge is the quiet, the quiet campus and the quiet neighborhood. I think the challenge is um, are primarily the, the sense of isolation. But, um, you know, I feel like we've done a lot as a department to try to make sure that the, our bonds uh, are kept um, fairly well tied. We, we meet frequently and, um, you know, it's been a good um, exercise, I guess, in, uh, in uh, building a collegial atmosphere. It isn't normal, but it is, doesn't um, change our um, service commitment at all and we will continue to do everything we can to be forward-looking and not uh, prehistoric. So um, to that end, um, we will uh, <laughs> we'll forge ahead and, and uh, as part of this community and, and do everything we need to. Stay safe. Stay safe.